Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. Assalamu alaikum, everybody. Welcome back to the most inconsistent podcast on the internet. That is Saleh Family Speaks, where we talk a lot about nothing or nothing about a lot and everything in between. If that's confusing, that's my life. So stay tuned. Welcome to Saleh Family Speaks. Hey, I'm Sana. And I'm Mohammed William. And we are the, the Saleh, Saleh Family. Family. We are social media influencers, content creators, and we own multiple online businesses. We seem to have a lot to say when it comes to just about anything. We are a mixed culture Muslim couple from Canada, and we're always asked about how our lives intertwine with the world around us. This podcast is all about learning to live, love, and laugh in a way that may have you rolling on the floor or throwing your phone at the wall. No topic is off the table, religion, culture, love life, and everything in between. So get ready and grab a big old cup of chai. Um, so welcome back, everybody. We are jumping into a very amazing uh, guest that we have on this particular episode. And without further ado, I will let my wife, who seems to be not on the podcast as much, just like me, <laughs> do the intro. Well, welcome back, everybody. We have a really awesome lineup of speakers in this season, and we're going to start off with First of all, let's just let's just say where we are. We're in Malaysia right now, Shut hence up. the really really cool epic uh, setup that we have here. And so our guest is from Malaysia. Um, so brother Sanan is with us today, and you might not know his name, but you will absolutely know his work. Yeah, exactly. Absolutely. If you're, if you're a Muslim and you live on planet Earth, yes. chances are you've you've seen his his creations before. Yeah, absolutely. So brother, we're going to give you the floor here to introduce yourself and tell us. Who you are and what you're all about. But well, what is his creation? Let him, let him, let him give us the wow. intro. <laughs> right. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. alaikum. Thank you for having me. Right. Um, so the creation, it's not, it's not, it's mine, but I credit to the team. Right. Yeah. It's, it's a team effort. It's called Omar and Hannah. Oh. Omar and Hannah. Hey. Maybe you heard of it if before. If you're, if yeah, if you're a parent. You've had Omar and Hana playing on repeat Absolutely. on your on your TV. Yeah. Like it, it is like a rite of passage, I think, for most kids, most Muslim kids in the world. <laughs> most definitely. Alhamdulillah. I mean, to give some context, who haven't heard of Omar Hana, mm -hmm. basically it has it's on YouTube. It's a cartoon on YouTube. It's an Islamic cartoon on YouTube. We have more than six billion views. Subhanallah. Right? Wow. Collectively, Amazing. globally, from all around the world. Alhamdulillah. Wow. But again, when we talk about views, it's more about the impact. Mm -hmm. right? yeah. uh, views is just, is just numbers, but how many million of children we've impacted with, with Islamic messages, with positive messages, mm -hmm. and also help parents too mm -hmm. at the same time. So Alhamdulillah. That's yeah. incredible. And, and yeah. I, I noticed yesterday, I snuck a peek when we were at the, the office uh, of the <coughs> analytics, and I believe 1.5 billion of those views were from the Western audience, yep. uh, which is pretty incredible because yeah. you know that's... I mean, half a billion of those are probably us and our kids watching it. But, um, so you really our kids see are the, big fans. Yeah, you really see the impact and the, the, the global reach of, of Omar and Hannah. Yeah. And so I just have a question. What was the big inspiration? Because I know you, you guys did a cartoon before, which was, yeah. which was great. Um, and then jumping into Omar and Hannah, did you have any specific moment or any specific flashpoint where you were like, this is what we need to, to do? Right, I think first of all is as a parent ourselves. Right? So we, we had a different cartoon before this. Uh, I was doing good on YouTube too. But as a parent myself, as a Muslim parent, we were always looking for Islamic cartoons. Mm -hmm. But there was nothing out there of high quality. Nothing good quality. Nothing That's good what quality. I was going to say. Is mm -hmm. there's, yeah. there's plenty out there, but it, none of it is like content that you would sit and enjoy watching. Yep. Yeah. yeah. So um, we, we had that moment of we're a parent, we need to do this. But at the same time, we're content creators and mm. parents were asking us, hey, do Islamic content. Yep. Mm. And uh, Alhamdulillah, I think we, we, we took that inspiration and um, a little bit personal too. Mm. Right? Uh, my, my father, he was a lecturer, Arwa, um, in Islamic history. Um, and he, when he was alive, we always said that, let's do this Islamic cartoon together. Mm. Um, he passed away 10 so, years ago actually almost oh. today directly um, actually inna lillahi wa inna ilayhi rajiun yeah. um, Allah we came from Allah and Allah we, we do return mm -hmm. Allah bless him and forgive him and uplift him and grant him the heights of paradise I mean Allah I mean I mean I mean inshallah right um, so we there's also that personal mission eternally mm -hmm. but in the end of the day it's for him right mm -hmm. I mean it's about creating benefit for other people mm -hmm. inshallah 
And um, what better way? Uh, in, Malay, in Malaysia, we have this saying called melento buluh biarlah dari lubungnya, which means if you want to um, um, enrich somebody, I mean, start from a child. And that's the best way. So not many people are seeing, taking that seriously, to mm-hmm. be honest, right? It's like, um, it's okay, kids are kids, but actually, um, again, uh, my late dad, he said that um, you are what you eat, mm. you are what you read. Mm. But if you put it into today's context, right, the kids are what they watch. Yep. Absolutely. 100%. 100%. If you're a parent, you know that. You know that the things that your child is consuming online is definitely what's going to shape them. Absolutely. So. I mean, my generation, we grew up on Power Rangers and Ninja Turtles and Transform and we didn't have the internet. Like the internet is at our, our fingertips, whether it's on your TV, yeah. whether it's on your tablet or your smartphone. You can't, you, you can't, can't steer it. as easily as it used to be. Yeah. You know, you don't, yeah. don't want to watch this program, turn the TV off. And literally yeah. that sealed the deal. Yeah. There was no more content for us to consume. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I think it's, it's very important, not only understanding the, the beauty of, of why you guys chose, or why you specifically chose to take this mission on, but also... You know, maybe you can speak to that as, as a parent and mm-hmm. three kids and the content that is out there. Um, just the importance of that, I guess you call it internet security or, yeah. you know, the, the, the having the blocks and steps in place that protect children from yeah. kind of the crazy world. Out yeah. There. So in today's day and age, I mean, you have so many different streaming services. You've got Netflix, you've got YouTube, you've got um, Disney and then a, a million other apps and streaming platforms. Um, and your kids, the thing is, is with these streaming platforms, it's so easy to just do this and just like keep scrolling and keep tapping and keep going. And there's so much content. It, we can't actually fathom how much content is mm-hmm. uploaded daily on these platforms that is not filtered and is not safe for kids. So whether that's bad language, inappropriate content, um, sexual content, just, it, the, the umbrella is huge when mm-hmm. it comes to the stuff that's on there. And parents don't realize, oh, it looks like a kid's show. Looks like it would be safe, mm-hmm. but most of it is actually not. And they just they just had uh, about I think two years ago, if you remember, there was that kids program that, that they used to watch. Uh, not our kids, but it came out mm-hmm. on the internet where it was just a seemingly innocent kids cartoon, and then it would cut to this creepy person talking about like self harm to the kids, oh, and then it yeah. would slip away so that it was yeah. just there for a second, and then mm-hmm. it would just go away. So and a lot of the stuff that pops up is like subconscious, like mm-hmm. the kids see it. And then they subconsciously put that in their brain for a later time. Mm-hmm. And it could, you know, interact with their behavior, with the way that they have, you know, mental health problems. It's so many different things. So and many different yeah, things. As us, as Muslim parents, you know, as you, as you mentioned, right, the, our number one job when you have a, a child mm-hmm. is to protect them and bring them up in a way that they're going to be productive members of society. They're going to be people who will benefit humanity yeah. um, as opposed to, you know, just the, like we call it scroll holing, right? Where you just, you fall into a hole. You don't even realize. And you're like, oh, that's an hour of my life is gone. Yeah. Um, and I was just reading a study this morning, actually, that by the age of two, 90% of American kids have exposure to social media. I don't know how that's possible. Two? Two. The age I of two. Maybe they, they, they consider YouTube as a social media. Maybe. Yeah. Oh, maybe. And, and so yeah, the, I guess. The, the fact that it is so every day Mm -hmm. didn't exist when we were kids but now it's it's it's, a whole other thing to navigate as a parent and and you're a parent as well so when you when you started omar and hana you obviously saw a need in the muslim world especially um but being a parent yourself like what about all these streaming platforms scares you i think the unknown right i think there's Mm -hmm. definitely good in content out there Mm -hmm. uh, on the other streaming platforms but there's bad Mm. and there's very ugly and I think the, the worst thing is, as kids, they don't know how to filter yet, mm-hmm. yeah. right? So whatever they watch, they take it in. And um, it stays with them. Mm-hmm. And that's the scary part. Yeah, the subconscious. Yeah. Yeah. They just kind of... Yeah, the subconscious. Mm-hmm. I'm not sure you, uh, if you saw, um, it's a famous kid singing show. Um, it went viral, I think, two, three months ago. Uh, it was originally on YouTube and then on Netflix. They had an episode where it was a toddler, mm-hmm. right? Um, trying to choose what to wear. Oh, I remember this. Then I saw this. He had two dads. Yeah. Yeah. And 
Then he, he picked up a boy's clothes, mm-hmm. a boy's uh, apparel, and then a girl's apparel. Mm-hmm. And then he chose to wear a skirt mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. for a toddler cartoon. I mean, it's... It's, it's just very like subliminal. Yep. Wow. And, and um, kids, kids would see that and not really know what it means. Mm-hmm. And the lyrics were even, I mean, it, it was planted, right? Yeah. The lyrics was like, um, you have a choice. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. I think yeah, that's, yeah. The, for, for me, that's the biggest problem that I have is my children are mine. I own them, <laughs> I pay for them, they're mine, right? <laughs> so it's, it's my job as a parent to teach my children according to my beliefs, uh, irrespective of anybody else's. Um, this is why, you know, for those of you who are watching that, that know who we are from Canada, it's one of the reasons why we chose to move to Malaysia is because of that governmental overreach into the lives of, of how we parent our children. And, you know, as Muslims, I mean, we first and foremost have to understand that, that Allah created all beings, created all people, right? So it's not up to us to to, to push people away or to, to, you know, harm people or make people feel negative. But in the same sense, we, in the Western world, at least, is there's this big, you know, you have to accept me. Mm. But when it comes to you accepting me, then there's a problem. Yeah. Right? Yeah. So, and our religious beliefs. Exactly. It, we, we do have a set standards of values and principles that we have to live our life. And if our kids are exposed to things that don't fit those mm-hmm. values and standards and ethics, um, that, that, then there's... A There's problem. a problem. Absolutely. Yeah. So the next question I would have then is, is seeing everything that you've seen um, and seeing kind of how the world has seemingly unfiltered yeah. a lot of these let go. Yeah, yeah, streaming programs. Just let go. Um, that would kind of maybe segue into the fact, why are we all wearing orange sweaters and orange I just apparel? love orange. Like team orange. We're like a there. gang now. Yeah, yeah. So this is, this is one of the coolest parts about us coming to Malaysia is the fact that we received an email uh, from Durio Plus. And yeah. we'll let the, uh, Brother Sinan discuss a little bit about what that is. But mm-hmm. um, being able to, to, we were invited to the, the two-year anniversary of Durio Plus. And we were blown away by what you guys have created and you know, your goals for the future, the goals for you know, the, the children. So if you could walk us through... You know, what is yeah, Durio why, Plus? What, how did it go from, from Omar and Hannah to now... Which yeah. was just a cartoon to now a complete full-on streaming service. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. So again, Alhamdulillah. Um, to be honest, first thing, thanks for replying the email. <laughs> uh, you know, like, are you going to reply or uh, not? Because part part of us was like, is this real? <laughs> yeah. Is this an actual thing? As soon as we saw thing? the the creative minds of Omar and Hannah, we were like, oh, were they like, really? Uh, is it spammy? Yeah. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> we took a chance, and Alhamdulillah, yeah. Alhamdulillah, yeah. it was real. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Alhamdulillah, again, Allah is the best planner. Yeah. Right? Um, we're connected now. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Alhamdulillah. Alhamdulillah. So yeah, so back to Omar and Hannah and Durio Plus. Again, Omar and Hannah has created so much impact, mm-hmm. but there's a few problems. Mm-hmm. One is it's living on a streaming platform, which is not safe for our kids. Mm-hmm. YouTube. So they could, yeah. yeah, they could start on Omar Hannah, mm-hmm. but when you leave them, they, when you there's come all back, the other videos and yes, recommendations, the and and recommendations and, yeah. right? So yeah. it's, it's not right from one angle, right? I think the second part is the kids grow up with many cartoons, mm-hmm. right, in their lives, right, from preschool all the way until probably 10 to 12, somewhere mm-hmm. around there. And um, Omahana just feels one part of that. Mm-hmm. Yeah. They're bound to watch other cartoons and nobody is really doing it up to the quality. Mm-hmm. Yep. That's right. So we said that, um, and another one is, again, data showed that there is a need, right? Um, as a parent, we know. But the validation is through Omahana's data, and we said that um, there's a need. Let's let's do something bigger with a bigger impact, inshallah. So we shifted. We moved to a new startup. We opened a new startup um, called Dorio Plus. <coughs> um, it was very scary, to be honest. Uh, when we started, 80% of the team from Omar and Hana actually submitted the resignation to oh, Digital wow. Durian and moved to Durio. Wow. Um, wow, wow, wow. Now wow. almost 100%. <laughs> yeah, That's crazy. But again, the, the fact is, um, the why of doing this is to provide this safe platform for Muslim children and Muslim parents, for them to be safe, to, to feel safe mm-hmm. and inculcate good messages. So the mission, if we say it our way, <laughs> is more like um, to nurture an ummah mm. with iman, 
akhlak and ilm, so which is right. iman and Amazing. ethics and um, knowledge, ilm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So um, the journey was, we started back in 2021, Alhamdulillah. Um, again, it was very scary to start a new startup. Especially during COVID. I, I got to throw that out there. Like that's huge. You, yeah. it, it was the COVID time yeah, when you guys started this. Business was scary. Do it during COVID. Yeah, <laughs> and try doing it during COVID. Yeah, that's like a whole next level of like figuring out how to do everything when everybody's so disconnected and, you know, yeah. so incredible, incredible. And not just that, starting a start a new startup with 40 people from start. Mm. Wow. Right? That, was, that was the start of it. Now we're around 80 plus. Wow. But we started with 40 from Amazing. almost day one. Mashallah. It's, it's very scary. But that is. Extra hectic. Yeah. 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 So yeah. we, we kind of like, oops. <laughs> <laughs> we kind of like, um, we believe that the need is there. Mm-hmm. And inshallah, Allah will help us along inshallah. the way. And um, that really did happen, alhamdulillah. I'm not sure if you've heard of uh, Y Combinator before. It's mm-hmm. a startup tech accelerator uh, in Silicon Valley. Okay. So um, we got into that program uh, just to give some some uh, in, in in the startup world. It's mm-hmm. kind of like that's the 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 best uh, startup uh, mm-hmm. accelerator in the world, right? So to get into it, just to give some context, um, seventeen thousand applications. Wow. Uh, Two thousand get to go to an interview. And 400 basically get in. Wow. Yeah. Wow. So it's, it's very hard. That's a lot of people that applied. applied yeah. So alhamdulillah, wow. again, we got in and um, alhamdulillah, we raised some capital from uh, Muslim investors all around the world. Right? Inshallah. Um, but again, it's still very early days. Mm-hmm. We, we use that money to create more content. So That's I it. think talking about Dorio Plus, it's not just a streaming platform. Yeah. It's basically the creative minds it's behind Omar and Hana mm-hmm. doing more cartoons yeah, yeah. And, and it's in house well, so much of it is is done you're creating your own show yep yeah. yeah as opposed to just a service i guess netflix now they're they're doing netflix originals but for the yeah. longest time it was just it was just bring grabbing the from, from other all over yeah. and put it on that platform yeah. um subhanallah that's amazing so just maybe let the people know i, I found this very interesting you know in terms of your guys's view uh, or vision for the future rather you guys went from I think what like two hundred and fifty or three hundred programs on yeah. on the app. So, and, and where are you at now? So, um, we started the app in we launched the app in February twenty twenty two, right? And it was quite crazy because it was a streaming platform with only two hundred episodes of mm-hmm. content. Wow, two hundred. So videos. not shows, it's episodes. <coughs> not shows, episodes. Just two hundred videos. Oh, wow. Okay, okay. Yeah. Um, now, alhamdulillah, we have more than nine thousand videos. Wow, Amazing. that's a lot. Yeah. 200 to 9,000. Yeah. It's a collective, of yeah. course, mm-hmm. of um, our originals, mm-hmm. which is the cartoons we produce on our own. Mm-hmm. And um, alhamdulillah, I'm happy to say that it's there with Omahana or even better mm-hmm. in a way. So mm-hmm. give it a try. Mm-hmm. Um, and we have Durio, we have licensed content. Mm-hmm. So if your kids like Baby Shark or Number Blocks, and, Dr. Binox, um, Dr. Binox, yeah. Tiger for the so, Western so definitely there's there's a lot of shows that are well known to you guys and your kids that are also on Durio yeah. because they're safe. Right? But we feel so to them. That's mm-hmm. amazing. Yeah. So not all episodes from mm-hmm. other producers get onto the platform. Mm-hmm. We've I. We filtered more than nine thousand episodes of content. Wow. So mm-hmm. more than because not everything goes on. Probably ten thousand. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. So alhamdulillah, um, Amazing. It, it's it's very important because mm-hmm. that's our promise to the parents that we try our very best to make sure it's safe and suitable mm-hmm. for the Muslim kid. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And yeah, and the thing is, is kids like let's get serious like most parents are like oh, i'm not gonna let my kids watch any screens until they're five years old we, we tried doing we that, that yeah we Dinner tried doing that with our kids and we try to like, go, like, go as long as we can i mean like for yusuf i think we started just a few months ago um but that's because baby number three saw baby number two exactly saw baby number one yeah, baby number one was, was the best yeah so <laughs> put her in a car seat she just looked oh, out man. the window she would just look out the window and look at the trees i was like why can't all my kids be like this and like, the next one no car seat don't want it no tablet and then Yusuf too, he's like, no, I, I don't like car seats. So my point in saying that is um, content starts now when they're quite young, mm-hmm. like learning ABCs, numbers, colors. And then just like you mentioned, like Omar and Hana kind of ish, 
content where they're, it's, you know, it's a little bit more storytelling, sing songs, stuff like that. And then they get older and then you got the cool sci-fi stuff. Mm -hmm. You guys yeah. just produced the coolest show called Ilm. Can you tell us a little bit about Ilm? Yeah. How that came to be? Well, right. For so, like the older kids? Yep, yep. So again, we started Doodle Plus with the content which is familiar with us. Mm -hmm. It was um, children's songs mm -hmm. and we had a, I'll call it Little Amar. Mm -hmm. We had Minamila, which is episodic uh, storytelling of twin girls. Mm -hmm. But then we also knew that we had to go to a higher age, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. And as creators, we've always wanted to do... We, we grew up with Transformers, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Once upon a time. Totally. So we said that we need to create a cartoon, which an animation, which, which is fun, but also has that Islamic values mm -hmm. for boys and girls, eight, nine plus, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. So uh, Ilm came up. And, and another thing I think is important is what we're doing is we're creating something that people want. Yeah. Yeah. And what people need, Muslims need. Mm -hmm. So um, we, talk, we talk a lot to parents about the, the challenges and what do they want. So there were kind of like three main points uh, when we normally talk to parents, which, which they tell us. Mm. So one is we, want, we need more sirah content. Mm. Which is definitely true. So yeah, true, absolutely. yeah. yeah. Learn and about the life of the prophet. That's <coughs> yeah. that's what Sarah is. Not just um, there's a lot of Sira content out there, but one ones which are engaging to watch, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. Then they were asking for Muslim heroes. Oh yes. Yeah, because the that's kids don't one. have uh, Muslim heroes to look up to. Mm -hmm. yeah? For sure. And mm -hmm. the third one was quality content. Yeah. Yeah. So we kind of like took these three things and yeah, said, let's, yeah, yeah. let's do this, right? That's so incredible. we created Ilm, um, The Rise of the Khalifa. Mm. And it's basically a sci-fi plus action plus mm -hmm. Islamic mm -hmm. cartoon, which is set, um, again, it, it's sci-fi, right? So mm -hmm. it's set uh, in 40, 30. Mm -hmm. But then you're looking at um, the world. I'll probably go in a bit. Mm -hmm. Should I? No, yeah. Bit, yeah, 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 yeah. We don't have too much. So, yeah, um, um, it, it's basically a case where you could probably relate to what's happening now. Mm -hmm. Yeah, actually, to be honest. Mm -hmm. But when we started it, the October seven didn't happen yet. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but Gaza was always under for sure. Yeah, yeah oppression. So in this case, it was actually before the Mac World War, Islam was flourishing. Mm. Yeah, but then there was this guy called Zalim. Mm. and who was very Zalim and um, he did this Mac World War and conquered the world but the, the group of Muslims right uh, they named themselves Sahaba mm. where they took Islamic knowledge and put it into a codex and scattered it around the world wow so many That's decades so cool. later right it's kind of like um, there were two the trackers after the war has, yeah. Yeah. they have to try to rebuild and yeah, mm -hmm. re understand and rediscover and re yeah. Rediscover, yeah. rediscover and mm -hmm. tracking and it's amazing how the team in came up with the idea mm -hmm. I love that and, um, so unique yeah, yeah mm -hmm. I, I found it as, as <laughs> someone who played video games as a kid and I, I think I mentioned this to you before is that uh, Final Fantasy VII, which is one mm -hmm. of the most iconic video games ever. You yep. know nothing about this. No, so. I have no idea. Um, I, the name actually rings a bell, but so I don't they, they play just they games. just did a remake of of the game. But anyway, the original Final Fantasy VII. So it very much has that vibe to me. That when I watched it at the the anniversary, we got to stream the first two episodes yep. and and and, uh, and watch them, and it really had that feel that you know the quality of the animation was there. Um, and I'm not, talk I'm not talking about Final Fantasy gameplay, I'm talking about like the visual, yeah. um, mm -hmm. the not part of the gameplay part, the, almost the, the, the scripted yeah. you know, visuals of it. And the adventure part, it really got me, as well as you know, the character side of it. Mm -hmm. That it, it's such a cool, complete show and we've only, we're only, I mean, the third episode is out now. I think fourth episode is out on the 30th yes. of, of this month, yep. of yeah. March. Uh, so stay tuned for that. Um, but the ability to put it all together, I think you I'm guys gonna. did very seamlessly mm -hmm. and uh, very incredibly. And I would recommend all of the parents out mm -hmm. there, especially with kids that are a little bit older, to, yep. to check that out for sure, because they'll definitely, they'll, they'll love it. And not only that, by, by loving that, you know, they're falling in love with the seerah. Uh, of yeah. the Prophet وسلم, and his companions. Um, that will maybe segue into, segue into the last kind of thing I'd like to discuss, which would be, you guys have right now, you have a, a um, fundraiser going. 
which is yeah. uh, on launch good and um, we'll have the link for that down below mm -hmm. but i wanted to briefly discuss you know the importance of this um, because it's not only is it fundraising to be able to create more content for us the consumers but it's also um, giving back to uh, the, the muslim ummah at, at, at a larger scale so if you could just kind of run us through the, the fundraiser itself and and how people can and, and kind of what they're going to get out of that would be would be great Yeah, because mm -hmm. we have an epic community by the way i just Amazing. have to throw this out there you guys are incredible any kind of campaign we have ever done you guys have supported and this initiative is so unique um so we want to know how can our people support you and right. the work you're doing alhamdulillah um so we decided to do the fundraiser because after doing this right we also felt that it's not just our mission the responsibility just doesn't rely on the durios mm -hmm. in orange mm -hmm. right? it's for Dukifaya, it's, it's basically a collective yes. problem mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and collectively we can contribute, mm -hmm. right? So the objective is basically for us to um, raise some money, mm -hmm. right? To support Durio, to create more content, mm -hmm. to have this safe platform, right? And um, to basically tell more stories, yep. And um, we were, during our time in, in Omar and Hana, we had a, a uh, session with Mufti Meng, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. And um, he said, um, "Not this is not direct words, but mm -hmm. the gist of what he said was, um, I'm jealous with what you guys are doing. Yeah. So, sure. Why? Right? And he said, because I'm talking to adults, mm -hmm. right? And some of them want to listen, some of them listen but don't follow, mm -hmm. right? But you guys are talking to children mm -hmm. and the children take it in and they're going to use it for many years of their lives. Oh, oh for sure. And inshallah, the jariah will be there. Inshallah. Absolutely. Right? And that's um, something I think a lot of people forget is, um, you know, most campaigns or most fundraisers or different different things like that. It's generally for... A moment. Yeah. A moment in yeah, time. Yeah, this is like you're investing in a child's future. Like their entire character, um, the knowledge that they're going to gain from this, and just in general, just being good humans, good Muslim humans, um, throughout this earth. Like mm -hmm. you're, you're basically contributing. It's, it's, a, it's a form of sadaqah that's going to pay off for generations to come. And it's interesting. The, sorry yeah. to cut you off. It, it's interesting. You said like the, the problem, it's a collective problem that we as Muslims yeah. have, yeah. but the solution is also a collective solution that all of us have yep. the power exactly. um, through yeah. investing, you know, whether it's time, our resources, money, whatever it might be to, to yeah. help, you know, these particular causes gain traction and, and mm -hmm. become more well known. And so we did a launch good campaign when we started, right? That was two years ago. But again, then we were just, in a way, the creators of Omar Hana, and we didn't have the proof of we can do a platform yeah. yet. But I think two years down the road, growing from 200 pieces of content to 9,000, um, in terms of originals, uh, more cartoons, right? We have seven animations now. Amazing. Mm. Um, and the best part is the parents are giving very positive feedback mm -hmm. after they watch after their, kid, after their kids consume uh, mm -hmm. Durio Plus. So you have parents saying that um, the attitude behavior is changing. Definitely. The cool. fact that the kids are easier to stop watching the screen. Because mm -hmm. what we do, again, the objective is not to get the kids glued to the screen. Mm -hmm. The objective is to make them wholesome people. Yeah, yeah? and get something, get something out of it. Like, yeah. like, like make it a meaningful screen time, basically, yeah. yeah. And when we... I mean, we just created a new app, right? And I think the fundraiser will also help to, mm -hmm. to, to support this new app. Yep. Um, YouTube Kids, for example, when you watch another video, you can just swipe up and change mm -hmm. videos. Yep. Mm -hmm. And that is, the kids love it, mm -hmm. but it's not good for them because mm -hmm. the short attention span. Exactly. Exactly. Definitely, yeah. So we know if we put that in, the kids will next, love next, it. Next, next, and next, next. And yeah. parents will see that kids occupy it and they'll subscribe. Mm -hmm. But we're not doing that mm -hmm. because it's not the right thing to do. Amazing. Mm -hmm. I think that's the yeah. core difference. I mean, when somebody asks me, what's the difference between Blue Plus and, and um, all these other streaming platforms mm -hmm. out there? It's intention. Mm -hmm. I think that's the core of it because when the intention, inshallah, is lillahi yeah. ta'ala, we do it for the right reasons. We have the right content on it. Mm -hmm. We, oh and yeah. You, and you don't do things. For and the we right don't reasons. do things. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that's yeah. amazing. Yeah. yeah that's so true. Just to mention another one, um, before you watch anything on Durio Plus, 
There's no ads, of course, mm-hmm. but you have short messages. Yes. Which create huge impact for the kids. It does. Right? It does. Yeah. It's basically like, it's like a commercial, but it's not. Um, they have different animations. So for instance, to give you an example of one that popped up on our screen yesterday, it was about Salah and praying with more, like with just by being a little bit slower, I guess, more with more intention. Yeah. 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 With more concentration. It was like a 10 second ad, but like a kid would see that and be like, Oh, Okay. Like I got, and that's what stop. I have to do. They yeah. stop when and their programs are interrupted. Pay, they stop and pay attention. They stop and pay yeah. attention. And so another thing that I want to say is like you mentioned. If, if I were, just yeah, yeah, before yeah. you get there, yeah, we yeah. actually got a feedback from a parent on Facebook Yeah, that the kid was praying slowly. Oh. Right? And um, when, when uh, after Salah, the mom asked, um, where did you learn that from? Is it, was it from your Ustata at school? And the son said, no, it was from Dorio Place. No wow. way. From that video, which you were mentioned. That is so cool. There you go. Yeah. I love it. Cause and effect. And one thing that like, you had mentioned is, um, you know, the little manners and things that your kids will take away. I was just noticing our daughter, Amina, um, yesterday. I can't remember what it was. She was eating something and she, well, you know, kids always will forget to say Bismillah, but she intentionally was like, Bismillah, and then took a bite. And I was like, wow, something like mm-hmm. so little that, you know, we always teach our kids say Bismillah before you eat, but do they always remember? Like, yeah. but I intentionally saw her do it. I was like, did you learn that from Dorio? She's like, yeah. I was like, that is so cool. That reminds me <laughs> Something of- Something so simple. Of the verse of the Quran where Allah says that verily reminder is beneficial for the mu'mineen, for the believers, mm-hmm. right? So that- It's just that simple. thing. Because every show starts with Bismillah. Yes. Like every show starts with that. Yeah. And I think she consciously was like, before she was going to take a bite, she said it. She thought about it. She thought about it. She, she thought about it and then said it. So mm-hmm. yeah, it's pretty I'm cool. It's pretty cool. Yeah. So I would, I would encourage all of the audience um, because I guess we should maybe just discuss. So obviously pricing for the, the app is going to vary based upon location. Yep. Yep. But for the Western audience in the United, in the United States, we'll, we'll, we'll go there just because it's the biggest audience and U.S. dollars are pretty prevalent everywhere. Um, what, would it, what does it cost for a monthly subscription? So now it's five ninety per month. Five ninety US yep. dollars. Per you guys, month. that's per literally month. a cup of coffee. Yeah. Not at Starbucks because like the price is a third of what Netflix costs. Yeah, yeah, and it's crazy. For now, yearly is forty nine dollars. It's amazing. So if you Which purchase is, the the year up front, yeah, how much is that per month? I'm not very good at math, so. I'm I'm great at math when I have a calculator. (laughs) But the thing is, is you have to take away that you guys have made it really affordable too. It's about $4 a month if you you purchase the one year subscription. Wow. $4. $4. It's literally nothing and and it's there. That's even a cup of coffee at a cheap place. Yeah. (laughs) That's like not, that's like a not so great cup of coffee. Yeah. That's basically what that is. So imagine, imagine that if you think about it for a moment. Mm Mm-hmm. It's $4, right? And, and when we think about, can I afford, can I not afford? The simple way to think about that is, what else do you have on the table that is $4 that you could just push aside to be able to give your, your children a month's worth of content mm-hmm. to be able to consume? And again, you don't have mm-hmm. to worry about it. Like Peace of mind is something that you don't you yeah. can't put a price on. Yeah. But the you don't fact have to that worry. you're almost able to put a price a four dollar yeah. price tag on a parent's mm-hmm. peace of mind when their back is turned to their children, you know, uh, consuming and they can, yeah, content. you can, you can, you can feel safe about your kids watching the Durio platform while you go and do the dishes, mm-hmm. or while you do the laundry, or while you do the things that you want to do as a parent, just to kind of get away for a few minutes. And your kids are consuming content that is good for them, and they're going to take something away from it. So four dollars is just I like think, you said for peace mm-hmm. of mind. Yeah, it's on amazing. top of that, right? I mean. Again, this is not our job mm-hmm. to consider, but um, if the intention when you subscribe is also to help us, mm. right? Um, it's a collective thing. Yeah. So inshallah, I guess Jariah will be there too because mm-hmm. again, we're, we're not sustainable yet mm-hmm. as a company, mm-hmm. but by getting more people on the platform and benefiting and also contributing in terms of either through the fundraiser or subscribing mm-hmm. directly, mm-hmm. right? It helps us. Yeah, that's, that's an, important, an important point to make is that, you know, people may have, they may want to invest in something that will be a sadaqa jariya for generations forever, essentially, mm-hmm. so long as this, and it's the internet. So 
the internet so far hasn't gone away. So, and I don't think it's going to go anywhere anytime soon. Um, but for the people who have that ability to invest, you know, a, a chunk of money or even, I mean, even if it's a dollar, it's still, you know, you're as still the investing prophet something. Salam said, it's about you your know, intention. If, if you, if you give something as small as a date in Sadaqa, but your intention is pure, it's more, there's more reward in that than giving mountains of gold, but you're doing it for the show of look what I can do. Yeah. Um, and, and the fact that, you have multiple options, so you can you can invest as much as you want into into Durio Plus, and also subscribe for such a, a nominal fee, mm -hmm. um, and all of that is going to help and mm -hmm. to help create new episodes, to help create new new shows, new content, um, new content in general, upgrade the app because obviously mm -hmm. you know building a, a, an app it's going to be different from. Yeah you know, one place to the next language, you know, differences, yeah. all of those things that requires, you know, finances. Mm -hmm. So, um, it's very important, especially, you know, we're in the month of Ramadan. Uh, this would be the time to amplify your good deeds by, by donating to such a noble, noble cause. Yeah. And so we'll leave uh, the link in the description for both how you can subscribe to Duro Plus as well as where you can support the cause. Um, you can find that in the description as well as in the pinned comment below as well. We can't thank you enough for coming on our on our mm -hmm. podcast and being a guest and sharing your story. And, you know, as parents, like I said, like as parents, it gives us so much peace of mind knowing that there's an entire team of people yeah. that is writing and script writing. By the way, we sat in on some script editing yesterday. I was blown away at how it's executed. Mm -hmm. You have a you have a topic, you write the script, you write the whole all the details of how it's comes through and you add in all the, you sprinkle in all like the Islamic education and I was blown away. Like and a caveat, literally blown away a caveat at how to it's that done. point that really took me by surprise and I mentioned this last night was that the person who was sitting to my side was someone who was an Islamically educated, uh, they call him Ustad, like a teacher uh, and, and they were running everything past him kind of getting the confirmation like is this okay if we say it like this and, and you know his response would be well you know, there's the hadith of the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam in regards to this. So maybe we can put that in the show as well. Oh, it's amazing. So it's not the whole, just, It's so thought out and yeah, so meaningful. It's very complete. Very wholesome. Say. Yeah, it's so wholesome mm -hmm. and full circle, like very full circle. So is there anything else that you would like to add? I think, alhamdulillah, shout out to the team. I mean, when you mentioned that, I think it's an mm -hmm. amazing team of young Muslims, right, mm -hmm. doing it. Mm -hmm. Alhamdulillah. Um, I would invite parents to come and join the mission, mm -hmm. right, uh, by donating and supporting us um, and subscribing maybe inshallah with mm -hmm. your kids and sure. most important I guess is make dua for us inshallah. because um, I always tell this to, to everybody and, and with such a huge audience I, I like to say this too that this make dua that when our intentions are always right mm. right because it's the, the responsibility is huge mm -hmm. right? because mm -hmm. if you do something wrong with millions of viewers Definitely. We're also going to answer. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, right? So please make the other. Our intention is always right. Please make the other. that We do the right things. And inshallah, we can really make an impact by mm. creating a streaming platform, which mm. is wholesome for the kids um, and can make them better Muslims, inshallah. Mm -hmm. inshallah. Yeah. And if you guys can contribute, please do. And if you can't, please share this video with as many parents as you can. And, and comment down below and let us know either your favorite Omar and Hannah moments, because we all have them, um, but also what you would like to see if you've checked out Durio Plus, if you're already a subscriber, what would you like to see in terms of content? Mm -hmm. um, because they're watching. They're watching they're and watching. they're paying attention. They're going to see the comment yes. section. So that your, your words, they're, they're literally they doing this for you yeah. guys and yeah. for all of us. So yeah, yeah. You know, the, the input is going to help create better mm -hmm. content. Um, I guess the last question that I would have is, Will we see new episodes of Omar and Hannah? Because that's that's the, the big question that people are going to ask. So, well, yeah, it's been two years. It's I been two years. Two years plus since we haven't seen any new episodes of Omar and Hannah. Uh, we're working very hard to get it right contractually, right, with um, another inshallah. party, inshallah. But please make dua again, inshallah. right? So one day, inshallah, Omar and Hannah can can. Um, Join the real maybe I don't know. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but please make it all. Mm -hmm. Yeah, inshallah. So they're on vacation, basically. Omar and Hannah are on vacation <laughs> at the moment, but inshallah, yeah. with the du'as and and, and um, your guys' support, inshallah, they can come back from the vacation and uh, be able to join the family. Yeah, Allah Taala. Um, we would like to thank all of you guys. First, we would like to thank obviously Brother Sinan uh, and Durio Plus. Uh, we are definitely going to be 
seeing a lot more of them uh, through our channels and through everything that we are doing. Uh, we're blessed to be able to to kind of be part of the Durio team. Um, it's an absolute honor. Again, guys, thank you so much for watching. Do comment, like, subscribe, all of the things. Support us is, is helping us to support as many people as we can and be able to introduce as many people as we can to our audience. Um, Sana can't be here right now because she's gone holding a little crying baby, but he's okay. <laughs> Um, we, we love you guys' support. We're, we're happy and super glad to be back with the podcast. Do look out for weekly episodes starting now. Fingers crossed. Make dua, inshallah. inshallah. Um, again, thank you so much, Brother Sana, thank you. For, thank you for, for having, having us. us. Um, and for having us over for dinner last night. It was absolutely amazing. That's something that we get to do. You guys probably don't get to do that with subscription, but anything's possible. All right, guys, take care. Inshallah, we will see you next time. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.